Okay, so I just wanted to show people the PPM problem that's currently in base flight and clean flight. And this is the old code that's currently in clean flight. So I'm just going to run this on the CC3D board. Okay, and then clean flight configurator is over here. And what you'll notice, this little blue bit just here, this is a little spike on the PPM input signal. You don't notice this so much on other clean uh, clean flight and base flight boards because the timer mapping is different on the CC3D. But nonetheless, the problem exists. On other boards, what happens is that the AUX 5, 6, 7 and 8 channels up here can sometimes be set with invalid data instead of the default 1500 when no data is being received. So the OpenPilot code has improved this so that no such spikes are received and that each PPM frame data is validated. So PPM frame data looks like this. This is the oscilloscope. So there's basically a series of pulses and they're all different lengths followed by a gap. And it's the timing of all this which is quite critical to decoding the data. And there you can see another strange artifact appearing and another one. And if you switch over to if we switch over to the motors tab perhaps after configuring it to arm it. So we can see that the motors aren't on there yet. Let's see if I can set this up to arm it with a button. So it's apparently armed there now. And if I put the motors on in the middle, it's not immediately obvious but what ha what can sometimes happen basically is the motors will spike a little bit when it receives bad data of course as soon as you get the camera out it doesn't do it very often there we can see another spike there immediately though so this isn't something that happens infrequently it happens quite a lot and this is basically just on a on a little quad with an fr sky d um d4r2 board um and this, you can see the CC3D there in the middle of that. Anyway, to fix the problem and to show you that it's fixed, I've got some new code prepared. So we'll stop that code running over here. And then I'll update to the latest version. like so and this has now got the updated ppm code as you can see here this is all the extra logic to validate the code so it basically waits for 25 frames or so to be seen before it decides how many channels they're supposed to be and then it keeps that count and then if each if any pulse is too short or too long it basically keeps a note of that and ignores any further input data that comes along so if we compile this, there it is, that's compiled, and then we run it. And then we can see back over here that there should be no spikes at all. And I could probably sit there for quite a while watching this, and there won't be any spikes as I have earlier, and we can see that the PPM code is functioning as you would expect when I'm pressing various different switches. I'm just waggling sticks around, there we go. So as you see, no little spikes have occurred. And I haven't unplugged this, I haven't turned it off, haven't turned it on, I've basically just reflashed it with different code and it's restarted. And that's it. Basically, that fixes up the PPM input. So this will be better not only if you have a CC3D board, but also if you have any board which uses a PPM input. Okay, enjoy. Oh, and thanks to the OpenPilot guys as well.